Hi and welcome to week 12 of Stretch and Mobility Yoga. So this week's session we're going to be focusing on stretching out the upper and the lower body. So we're going to start off on all fours. So bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, spreading the fingers, knees underneath the hips and feet can either be with the toes flat or tucked under. So we'll start with a few rounds of cat-cow. So inhaling, lifting the chest, widening through the collarbones, and then exhaling, rounding the back, drawing the belly in, and then inhaling, coming through, and exhaling, rounding. Inhaling forward, and exhale round. Inhaling, and exhaling out. And then just coming back to sit on the heels. So bring the big toes to touch, stretching the arms forward, taking extended child's pose. So just let the forehead rest down, you can always stack the hands and make a little pillow to rest on. But just kind of relax the hips down towards the heels, really reaching forward through the arms if they're extended, getting a nice side stretch. And then we're just going to walk the hands over to the right, so maybe placing the left hand on top of the right, sinking the left sit back, bone down towards the heel. Breathing into the left ribs. And then walking back to the centre. Taking the hands over to the right. So you can always place the right hand on top of the left for a bit, a bit extra resistance. And then just sinking the right hip down towards the heel. couple of nice deep breaths here, in through the nose and out through the nose. And then walk the hands back. So spreading the hands, coming up onto the knees, tucking the toes under, ready for downward facing dog. So push back towards the heels, press into the hands, start to lift the knees up off the floor, keeping the knees bent, coming up onto tiptoes to start with. And then slowly lowering the heels one at a time towards the floor, just pedaling out through the feet, stretching through the back of the legs. And then start to lower both heels towards the floor. Doesn't matter if they don't come all the way. Knees can stay bent as well if the hamstrings feel tight. And then look forward towards the hands, just rocking forwards into plank, holding plank here, just stretching through the collarbones, widening through the chest, looking forward, engaging the legs. And then drop the knees, lower down onto the belly, just bring the elbows underneath the shoulders. And then start to draw the elbows towards the hip points, engaging the thigh muscles, lifting up on the pelvic floor, and just opening up through the chest. Just turning to look over the left shoulder. Maybe you can see your right heel. And then turning the other way. Looking over the right shoulder. Back to centre. Take a breath in. And then exhaling. Lower down. Bring the hands either side of the chest. Tuck the toes. Inhale, press up onto all fours, rounding the back, push back towards the heels, and then coming back into downward facing dog. So again, rocking forward into plank, slowly coming forward, lifting the chest, looking straight ahead of you, and then lower the knees, lower the body down. This time, bring the hands either side of you, Palms 
facing up and then inhaling just lift the chest and exhale lower inhale lifting up and exhale lower inhaling up exhale lower inhaling up holding here raising the arms either keeping the hands separated or maybe you can clasp drawing the knuckles back just keeping the neck nice and long a couple of breaths and then releasing lowering down just rest for a moment take the head to one side and then the other And then back to centre, bring the hands under the shoulders, inhaling, just lifting the chest, coming into cobra pose, the elbows draw back, really engaging through the thigh muscles, and then pushing into the hands, coming all the way back into child's pose. A couple of breaths here. And then tucking the toes under, coming into downward dog. And then look towards the hands, just start to walk the ha feet towards the hands. Coming into a gentle forward fold with the knees bent. Maybe catching hold of the back of the arms, swaying from side to side. And then releasing the arms, bring the hands to the waist, roll the shoulders back, and then slowly bring yourself all the way up to stand. So standing tall, spreading the toes into the floor, really engaging the legs, drawing up on the pelvic floor, shoulders, just falling down the back and the back of the neck nice and long. So from here, just inhaling, raising the arms up. Exhaling, joining the palms and bringing them down towards the chest. So two more like that. Inhaling, deep breath in. Exhaling, all the way down. One more time, inhale. And then exhaling, hands to the chest. So from here, interlacing the hands. And then just pressing the hands away. So just trying to draw the, the hands apart almost. So stretching through the upper back, the shoulders. And then turning the palms up, inhaling, reaching up tall. Deep breath in, exhaling, taking it over to the right. Inhale to centre. Exhaling over to the left. Inhale to centre. Exhaling, reaching the arms behind you. Interlace the fingers. And then try to draw the knuckles back. Elbows can be bent or straight, depending on what feels best for you. If this feels too intense, you can always clasp opposite forearms. And just try and imagine drawing them apart. So really stretching through the chest. Inhaling here. And then exhaling, folding forwards. Bring the knuckles up towards the ceiling. If you've got the hands clasped. And then releasing down. Inhaling, just coming up halfway. Engage the thigh muscles. Reach through the spine. Exhaling. Just release down over the legs, trying to bring the hands towards the floor, but they might just rest on the shins, or you can just always have them just relax down like that. And then bring the hands to the waist, coming up. So we'll do that one more time. So try and change the interlace of the hands, if you can remember which way round you did it. 
So this time pressing the hands away, imagine drawing the fingers apart, and pulling the hands apart, and then turning the hands up so the palms face the ceiling. Exhaling over to the left this time. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhaling, bring the hands behind you, clasping the hands opposite way. Inhaling, lifting through the chest. And then exhaling, folding down. Trying to bring the knuckles up towards the ceiling, as high as they'll go. And then releasing. Inhaling, extending forwards, engaging the thighs. And then exhaling, release down. And then just looking forward, going to step back with the right foot, bringing the right knee to the floor. So if you need to, grab a blanket and pop it under the knee just to pad it out. Otherwise, just coming up, pressing the right hip forward, so really tucking the tailbone under. Bring the left hand to the inside of the left knee, just to keep drawing it out. Reach the right arm up, and then just leaning over to the left. A bit of a hip flexor stretch. And then coming back upright, bring the right hand down. So start to walk the left foot out slightly. And then just sinking the right hip down, turning to look over your left shoulder. So if this feels okay, you can maybe extend the arm. If you want to bring a bit of a quad stretch in, you can always bend the back knee and see if you can catch hold of the foot. But if you can't, just stay here. really trying to open up through the chest as well and then bring the left hand up and round and then start to bring the sit bones back towards the right heel lifting the left toes inhale extend and then exhale fold forwards if it feels too much to have the hands on the floor you can bring the hands to the waist or if you've got anything around like a book or a couple of books or Something like that, you could always just rest your hands down on top of them instead. So then, coming back forwards, tucking the back toes under, stepping to the front, inhaling up, exhaling, hands down, step back, left foot, bring the left knee down, and then inhaling, reaching the arms up, taking the right hand to the inside the right knee, tucking the left sit bone under and then reaching the left arm up and over. So maybe looking up underneath the left arm. Keep pressing the left hip forward and then bring the left hand down, walking the right foot out. And then turning to look over your right shoulder. Just if this, if this feels okay, open the right arm up. And maybe you can bend the back knee and catch hold of the foot to come into a bit of a quad stretch. So pressing the foot back into the hand. Really lifting through the chest and opening up. And then releasing out. And then Bring the hands either side to the right foot, you might need to walk it in a little bit, and then just raising the right toes. Inhale, lifting up, exhale and folding over the right leg. Hands can either rest on the floor or on your waist, or on some blocks or books or something like that, just to give you make the floor a little bit closer. And then coming back. Forwards. So this time we're going to start to turn out to the left. 
So just walk the left foot in a little bit, just turning the toes out, bring the forearms to the insides of the inner thighs, and just reaching the chest forward, pressing the arms into the, the thighs, and stretching through the groin. And then releasing out, just bring the hands to the floor, turning the toes so they now face forwards. Inhale, extend forwards, and then exhaling, coming down as far as you can, so without the back rounding. So you can always bend the knees or take the feet a little bit wider. You don't have to come all the way to the floor either. So inhaling, extend, and exhaling, just coming down as low as feels appropriate. Try to get a bit of a stretch in the back of the legs. And then inhaling, coming up. Reaching the arms behind you now, clasping the hands. Lifting the knuckles up towards the ceiling. And exhaling, letting the head drop down. The arms reach up. Few breaths here. And then bend the knees slightly and then slowly draw yourself all the way up to stand. So just release the arms, give the shoulders a little bit of a circle and then walk the feet in. Okay, so just taking a bit of a stretch of the quad, so catching hold of the right ankle or foot, pressing the hips forward, trying to draw the knees together maybe you can raise the left arm so keep pressing the right foot into the hand and then try to draw the heel towards the sit bone keep the abs engaged so you don't start to arch through the back and then releasing out other side so catching hold of the ankle Pressing the hips forward, trying to draw the knees together, reaching the arm up, if that feels okay. Slow, deep breaths. Even if you feel like you're wobbling, just try and keep the breath nice and steady. And then release. So from here, just drawing your right knee up turning it out to the side and cross the ankle over the thigh. So you, you might stay here or you might be able to start to bend the left knee and bring the hands together in front of you. So keep trying to draw the right knee out to the side, flexing through the right heel, really sitting back, weight into the left heel. And then coming to stand changing sides, so draw the left knee in, standing up tall and then just taking hold of the foot, start to turn the leg and the hip joint and then bring the ankle to rest on top of the thigh. So maybe just staying here or seeing if you can start to bend the right knee and sit back. So if you're trying to sit into an imaginary chair, although I have got a chair behind me, I'm not going to sit, it's going to hold up. There we go. And then coming up, release out, shake the leg out. Good. So coming into some little shoulder stretches here. So just bringing the right hand just behind you so palm faces out. So you're taking the hand to the right side of your back, your low sort of mid back. From here, you can take your left hand and catch hold of the elbow and then start to sort of draw the right shoulder back whilst resisting with the left hand. So just taking a few breaths here, just preparing us for our next pose. Next pose but one. And then release. Bring the 
your right hand behind you. So now you can catch hold of the inner um, upper arm, the left upper arm, and then start to open up through the chest. So really resisting against the left arm with the right hand, widening through the collarbones again. If you want, you can take a little balance into it. So come into tree pose, resting your right foot against the inner shin or, or calf. And then release. So we'll change sides. So take the left hand to the left side of the back. So it's mid back, palm facing out. And then reaching the right hand round, catch hold of the elbow. So resisting the elbow into the right hand, and then draw the left shoulder back. And then releasing out. So catching hold of the right upper arm. So really resisting again against the arm and the hand, opening up through the collarbones. If you want, you can come into the balance. Into tree pose. So just opening up the shoulders. And then releasing out. So coming to stand and then inhaling, raising the arms up. Exhaling, holding down. So we'll just flow through to the next move. Inhaling, lifting up halfway. Exhaling, planting the hands. Step back, downward dog. And then you can either drop the knees and step the right foot through or raise the right leg. Look forward towards the hand. Knee into chest, step the right foot forward, coming into a high lunge. So coming up, so just adjusting the feet so that you've got a nice stable base. Inhale, raising the arms up. And then this time dropping the right elbow, sorry, right hand between the shoulder blades. And here you're going to sweep the left arm back and round and see if you can catch hold of the hands in a monkey grip. So. If you can't, don't worry, you might be able to catch hold of your clothing instead. If you've got a belt or a strap to hand, you can, or a towel, you can always use that just to close the gap a little bit and have something to resist again. From here, just start to press the back of the head, maybe into the upper arm, just really lifting up tall. Opening up through the shoulders and then exhaling leaning forwards, so creating a long line from the right elbow all the way to the left heel, and then inhaling up, and then releasing the arms. So we're just going to change sides like this. So you're now facing the left foot, coming into a high lunge. From here, you can raise the left arm up. Place the hand between the shoulder blades, reach the right arm behind you, seeing if you can catch the hands in a monkey grip, or catch your clothing or a strap. And then just lifting the left elbow up, up towards the ceiling, just maybe pressing the back of the head into the upper arm. And then exhale, lean forwards. So again, creating a long line from the left elbow tip to the right heel. And then coming up. And releasing the arms. So just spinning the right heel down, opening up into a warrior two stance. So your left toes are facing forward, right toes are turning in slightly. Left heel's in line with the arch or the heel of the back foot. From here, just bending into the left knee, just sinking the upper body straight down so you're not leaning forwards or back. So just straight down, even weight between the feet. Raising the arms and coming into warrior two, full position, just looking out over the left fingertips. And then coming into another shoulder stretch. So. Crossing the arms in front of you, right arm on top, 
and then see if you can bend the elbows and catch hold of the hands into what's called eagle arms. Not sure why. Um, if you can't catch hold of the hands, you can always hold opposite shoulders. So from here, just try to lift the elbows, just pressing into the upper back, rounding slightly. Just let the chin drop down. And then inhale, lifting the head. Exhaling, releasing the arms. So coming into a reverse warrior, so bring the right hand down. And then inhale, sweeping the left arm up towards the ceiling. And then from here, just straightening the left leg. So really reaching up tall with the left hand. And then coming into triangle pose. So just bring the arms out wide. And then reaching the left arm as far forward as you can. Keeping the left leg straight, but not locked. Left hand down to the shin, right arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe looking up at the top hand, if that's okay for your neck. Otherwise, just look straight ahead or down at your left foot. From here, just reaching the right arm over. So really stretch through the right side of the body. So press down into the right foot. And then slowly coming back up again, changing sides, so turning the left toes in, right toes turn out, and then bend down into the right leg, warrior two. So looking out over the right fingers, just make sure the right knee is drawing out towards the little toe side of the foot, and the knees directly over the ankle. And then coming into eagle arms, so crossing the arms in front of you, left arm on top this time, bending at the elbows, catching the hands, or catching hold of the shoulders. Start to lift the elbows, and just draw the chin in towards the chest slightly. Sinking down into the right leg. And then releasing the arms back into warrior two. Bring the left hand down, reach the right arm up and over, coming into reverse side angle. And then straightening the right leg, coming into reverse triangle. So really press down into the right foot, reach up through the right fingertips. And then coming into triangle pose, so arms out, reach the right arm forward as far as you can. Ooh, nice hip hop. And then bring the left hand, sorry, the right hand down. Reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. Maybe opening up. And then take the arm over the head, over, so in line with the body. Really stretching through the side. And then slowly coming back up, turning the toes in, and then just heel toe the feet back in together. Okay, stepping forwards. Inhale, raising the arms up. Exhaling, folding down. Inhaling, coming up halfway. Exhaling, stepping back into plank pose, dropping the knees. Lower down onto the belly. So just coming up onto fingertips, inhaling, lifting the chest, coming into a version of cobra pose. And then exhaling, lowering down. Bring the hands either side of the ribs, tuck the toes, press back. Coming in child's pose. A couple of breaths here. And then we'll take a pigeon stretch. So taking the right knee to the back of the right wrist, crossing the leg in front of the body, walking the left toes out behind you. So if this isn't good for your knee, you can lie 
on your back instead, crossing the ankle over the thigh and drawing the leg in, the left leg in, in the thread the needle pose. So otherwise if you're in pigeon, so either staying up on the hands, if this is enough, or coming down onto the elbows, or resting the forehead down on the hands. Trying to keep the back level so you're not rolling over to one side. So both hips are sinking down towards the floor. Keep drawing the right knee out to the side rather than have it directly in front of you. So you get a bit more of a stretch this way, also a bit more stable. And then coming back up. So tuck the back toes under, step back, maybe walk out the feet a little bit. And then come into pigeon the other side, so left knee to the back of the wrist, crossing the leg in front of you, and then walking the right toes out behind you. So just check the legs going straight out behind you. And then either staying on fingertips, or sinking the hips down, or if you feel quite comfortable, then you could come down onto the forearms or rest the forehead down. Just slowing the breath. Just trying to relax through the lower body as much as you can. And then Slowly coming up, this time just rolling on to the left hip and bringing the right leg round. So we're going to come into a different pose, so where you cross the right leg over and then you walk the right toes, your right foot down the left side, so that the knees now stack one on top of the other. If this is too intense, which it is quite an intense pose, um, you can always just cross the legs instead. So just sitting up nice and tall like that. You can also um, maybe sit on top of a cushion or just something that's going to lift your hips up a little bit more. So just to let the, the hips open out a little bit if, if you find sitting cross-legged a bit uncomfortable. Okay, so whichever position you're in. So taking the right hand down to the side and then reaching the left arm up and over. Just taking a nice side stretch. Maybe looking up underneath the arm. And then just bring the arm down to the side, reaching through the fingertips. So a bit of a neck stretch. Just let the right ear drop towards the right shoulder. And then slowly coming back up again. Just let the head come up last. And then we'll take the other side. So crossing the left leg over the right and then bring the foot down either side of you. So feet are pretty much level, knees are stacked one on top of the other. So don't worry how close your knees are together. Just as long as it, you can sit here, com well, not comfortably, but you can bear this for a few minutes. So if you can't sit like that, sit cross-legged instead. Here, taking the left hand down to the side, reaching the right arm up and over, coming into a side stretch. And then reaching the hand down, so reaching through the fingertips, let the left ear drop towards the left shoulder, see if you can get a little bit of a neck stretch down the side. And then back upright, head comes up last. Good, and then unravel the legs, just coming in to cross-legged. So try and cross at the shins rather than the ankles and try and bring the feet so that they're underneath the knees and then flexing 
through the, the toes as well, pushing out through the heels. So you get a bit more of a hip stretch this way. So we'll take a little twist side to side. So just turning out to look over the right shoulder. So on each inhale, just think lengthen on each exhale. See if you can just find a little bit more space in the spine to turn. And another side. So inhale, lengthen, exhale, turn. A couple of breaths here. And then back to center. And just bring the hands behind you, either staying upright or you might be able to fold forward. Just really trying to bring the chest towards the shins. So without rounding the back, you might feel it a bit more in the outer hips. And then sitting up, just change the cross of the legs. So again, crossing the shins rather than the ankles, flexing through the feet. Taking a little twist, so we'll just go to the left side first. And then the right. And then bring the hands behind you, inhaling, lifting up out of the hips, exhaling, start to lead with the chest, folding forwards as far as you can without rounding. If this is quite comfortable for you, if you've got quite a lot of external rotation in the hips, you can always bring the arms forward and fold down like that. Otherwise, just keep the hands behind you just to just pressing lightly into the fingertips just to keep the, the spine lengthened and extended. And then slowly coming back up again. Just releasing out. The legs a little shake. You can just catch hold of the, the ankles or just bring the hands behind you, just folding over the legs. And then slowly coming back up and coming to lie down on your back and take a few minutes rest. Otherwise, if that's your time, if you haven't got any more time to do a full relaxation, then just coming to sit, just bring the hands together in front of the chest, bowing the head. Namaste. Well done. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed that. Have a great rest of your week.